Hi, I'm John Storms, and I'm going to go over how to map uh, your LiDARAMA software over to universes. This is basically how you get uh, get it all set up so that LiDARAMA can talk to your RGB light controllers. All right, so I'm going to start off with network preferences. Now, I just recorded this video, but I had the mute button on the whole time, so I'm going to do it all over again. So. Network configuration basically is where all your devices live. So here I have my LiDARAMA network. I just have one COM port 3, and this is where all my LiDARAMA controllers live. And for DMX, you have universes, and then every universe can have up to 170 um, RGB channels. So what I want to do is I want to show you how we go about configuring these. So I'm going to pick universe 20. Okay. Now this would be what it's whatever universe you want, and it would be the same universe that you configured on the um, on the uh, the light controller if it's a pixel light controller. Um, like an NTech dongle, for example, wouldn't have any knowledge at all what universe it was on. So here, you know, you can go and pick whatever adapter you happen to have connected up, and then say raw DMX. And what we'll do is this is a device, usually when it says adapter, it means a USB adapter for the DMX interface. And anything connected to that USB interface um, is going to get associated with this universe. So if you send something to universe 20, it's going to go to that adapter. Okay, And it's just going to send it DMX. Okay, So that's if you're using an adapter like an NTEC Pro. And then also here you want to pick the right uh, protocol. Right, so if it was an NTEC Pro, you would pick this. Uh, a lot of times there's, uh, what do you call it, uh, generic versions of the NTEC Pro. Okay, so that's if you're using an adapter. Now let's say you're using E131. This means that the DMX information, instead of just being shot out directly over a USB port, is going to get packaged into Ethernet uh, packets and then sent to a device, like a SAN devices, like a uh, Pixel controller, or PIXCON 16 from Lightarama or the, uh, the Falcon uh, V2, that sort of thing. Now, you can set it up multicast, but this can lead to a, ch a chatty network. I prefer to specify the IP address because you have to do this anyway. When you originally set up the, uh, the bridge or the Pixel controller, you gave it an IP address. So here, you're just going to set up that same IP address, whatever it was. And now what happens is anytime there's traffic or sequencing information that needs to go to Universe 20, it's going to send it to this IP address. Okay, so essentially all we're doing here is we're just mapping a DMX universe to a an output, whether it's an adapter or whether we're sending it out via E131 to a particular controller. We're just mapping the universe to where we want it to go. Uh, and a universe is nothing more than 170 possible pixels, okay, or 512 individual channels. But typically for our uses, it's going to be 170 pixels, okay, because, uh, you know, 512 divided by 3 is 170 with two left over, so we just lose those two channels. We don't do anything with them, okay? So now I got this universe 20, okay, so I hit apply. Right. And if I export the config, I can actually save this out to a file. So I can say, I'm going to call this Erase Me. Okay. And so if I go and I change this and I mess it all up, I can go back and import the config and say, oh, you know, import this back in. Just like that. See? Okay. Now where this is also handy is if you're working and you're just doing sequencing, sometimes it's handy to have a completely blank set of universes. That way, it, uh, the com listener is going crazy trying to talk to all these controllers while you're while you're doing your sequencing. Keeps it a little bit quieter. Okay. Uh, and we're not going to worry about the miscellaneous. Hit OK. That's done. So now we'll start up the sequence editor. Oops. Sequence editor. Okay, and then I'm just going to start a animation sequence. Doesn't matter. And now what I do is I say insert an RGB channel below. I click on it, and you pick what's the device type. Well, it's DMX. Now, in order to use DMX with Lightarama, you have to have at least an advanced or a pro license. Now, here it's set for Universe 1, but we configured our stuff on Universe 20, not 19, 20. And let's assume this is like the first pixel, so it will consume channel 1, 2, and 3. Come over here, 
and confirm. Yep, Universe 20, 1, 2, and 3, and we're going to expand it. So I click on this one. You see this is address Universe 20, address 1, and it's for the red. The next one is for the green. It's on address 2. And we look at the next one, Universe 20, address 3, for the blue. So red, green, blue, they're set up. So what happens is anything that we do here in terms of turning things on and off will get sent to that controller at 192.168.1. I believe we configured it for 240. Okay, that easy. And you can do all sorts of things. You pick this color fade tool from the uh, button bar here. You can choose, you know, if you say copy, you can say I'm just going to do red. But you can say I'm going to, I want to go from red to yellow. I'll pick a good yellow. See, and then you just drag your, your mouse and it does it. And if you say swap, then it picks up where you let see. And you can do that where it goes back and forth. So it's lots of cool things. And when I play this, Lidorama now knows because of the network preferences to send this information to Universe 20. It, because it's Universe 20, it's going to say, well, where do I send it? It's, see, it's Universe 20. So what it does is it goes to the network preferences, which you can also get to via the sequence editor. It goes to DMX and says, oh, okay, Universe 20, I want to send it to 192.168.1.240. And off it goes using E131. Now, if I had something configured for Universe 15, it would come over here and it would say I thought I had one set up on an adapter okay well, but if it came for 15 it would say oh it also goes to this uh, 192.168.1.240 which is perfectly legal because one pixel light controller will usually support multiple universes this also could be a DMX bridge that you're sending information to um, so this is how Lightorama does that mapping so it's pretty pretty straightforward Okay, that is it.